Come on in the kitchen and welcome back to Let's Get Cooking. I want to share with you these flavorful, delicious garlic parmesan wings. And just in time for the Super Bowl. But first stop, don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. I'm making two to three pounds of chicken wings. I'm just using the drumettes today. I'm using some butter, Parmesan, a good quality Parmesan, grated Parmesan, some garlic, and just some regular seasonings, seasonings for the chicken, seasoning salt, paprika, a um, little bit of parsley, and some bacon powder. Feel free to flavor your chicken using whatever you have on hand or whatever you use to maybe bake chicken or fry chicken. Um, Definitely want to have some garlic powder in this recipe on your chicken if you do have it. And you can just use salt and pepper if you like. Um, I first want to start off by mixing my seasonings. And I'm just combining them all together to make it easier to just um, sprinkle over the chicken. I'm using a tablespoon of bacon powder. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm not frying the chicken wings this time. I'm going to make them in the air fryer but i still want that nice crispy texture so to get that texture you want to use some baking powder so i'm using baking powder and i combine that with the seasoning salt the garlic powder a little paprika and then i'm just going to sprinkle that on each side of the chicken so I want to liberally sprinkle the seasonings and the baking powder on the chicken on both sides making sure they're well coated Now what I will say is if you want to fry your chicken wings, you can definitely do that. Just season the chicken and you need to just heat up some oil on the stove and you probably know how to just go ahead and fry your chicken. Take them out and then you can add the garlic parmesan once they're done. But like I said, I'm going to cook these in the air fryer. So it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook them and then I'll add the garlic and parmesan when they're complete. Now let me clear up something. If you're just gonna fry the chicken wings, you do not need the baking powder. You just need your seasonings and flour or you can just season the chicken and fry them that way. You really don't need the flour, that's just extra batter. But for those who want to use the air fryer, these take about 25 minutes and you wanna turn them halfway through the cooking process, about 12 or 13 minutes cooking them on both sides want to make sure that they're, they're well done so i would say between 25 and 27 minutes and i'm just putting six to seven pieces in my air fryer at a time don't want to overcrowd the air fryer because then they won't get crispy on to the next step okay let's get down to the good part i am making the garment garlic parmesan mixture want to start off definitely with some butter i'm using five tablespoons of butter then i'm going to use five to six garlic cloves minced so you definitely want to make sure those are minced or finely chopped and you want to melt the butter in a pan on about a medium i would say a medium heat medium to low heat because you don't want to burn the garlic then add in those five to six cloves of garlic and we want to just cook this for about three to four minutes making sure your heat's not too high making sure you don't burn the garlic so this is the first step Okay, now that my butter and garlic mixture is about finished, just gonna turn the fire off and get started. My chicken is done. I have let that cook, like I said, between 25 and 27 minutes in the air fryer. You also can bake the chicken in the oven. I will bake the chicken on about 400, 425 for about a good 45 to 50 minutes, making sure that it's done and it is crispy because you definitely want that crispy texture when you're making any type of um, garlic parmesan wings or buffalo wings or anything with the sauce on it. First, I want to add one the butter and garlic mixture to the chicken. 
and I'm just using half of the mixture because I have two batches of chicken. So I'm using half of the garlic parmesan, no, garlic butter. Then to that, I want to add the parmesan. Just using fresh grated parmesan, about a quarter cup, quarter to a half cup of fresh parmesan. Then I will add in some parsley, um, some parsley flakes, some dry parsley flakes. Now, if you have fresh parsley, that'll work too. But I have some dried on hand, so that's what I'm using. And I just simply want to combine these in my bowl. And actually, that's it. They're ready. They're ready to be served. They are hot. They are coated with that garlic parmesan mixture. And they are really, really good. So for this video, I made a small batch, but you definitely can make two, three, four, five pounds of wings at once. You just want to go ahead and double the recipe. And then you can coat all your chicken at once if you're having a Super Bowl party or if you're cooking them at home and you want all your chicken to be ready at one time. Just make all your butter your butter garlic mixture and your parmesan just have everything ready on hand when your chicken is done toss them all in the bowl mix them and then once you plate it you can add some extra parmesan and parsley flakes or fresh parsley like i did right here and it's ready that's a treat right there those are so good fresh out the oven out the skillet hot and fresh garlic parmesan wings for the win these are great for the upcoming super bowl weekend so let me know if you make these and as always thanks for coming in the kitchen thanks for cooking with me today we made garlic parmesan wings i hope you do try them out if you do please leave a comment if you have any questions please leave them in the box below comment let me know what your favorite wings are for the season if you like buffalo if you like barbecue if you have any special sauce that you like to put on your wings please share them until next time have a blessed day and a blessed week